our day 55 solution then. Here I am with day 51's to-do list. And let's see if we can back that up. So we need to find our code for autosave, which is down the bottom here. Now, before we create our, before we create our autosave file, we want to back up the old one. So I suppose we do need to check whether it's there or not, first of all. So we do need to put something in there. Well, we've learned some more, haven't we? Because if the file's there, we can put that in a try and accept. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set a variable uh, was file exists. I'm going to set it to true. And I'm going to set it to true because most of the time the file will be there. If we get an error though, I'm just going to set file exists to false. So I'll be able to find out down here if file exists. So if the file's already there, let's go and make a copy of it. First of all, let's make our directory. So os.mkdir and let's call it backups. Uh, then once we've made that, I'm going to generate a random name. I hope I've got the random library board and I haven't. I'm going to bring that in. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to generate the name is going to be uh, an F string. It's going to be the word backup, and then a random number random.randint between one and a billion. So the chances of me picking the same backup are going to be small, I think. Um, let's give it an extension, just do .txt. So that, that should work just as well. Oh, there we go. And we've got a backup of the original file before it made the changes that we wanted. Great, we got there eventually to get that working. You can see though that what this command is doing, popen, is it actually sending terminal commands to the console on the right hand side. Now, if you Google Linux terminal commands, you'll see a list of things. They're not just copy, there are things like create folders, find files, do a whole kind of things to the operating system that you've never even dreamed of. So it's worth taking a look if you can.